New tonight, the family who owns the pit bull that attacked three people in Rocky Mount says they don't believe they're at fault. Police say the Proctor family's dog bit an elderly couple yesterday and an officer who had to shoot it to stop the attack. W. Orioles Keenan Willard spoke with the injured couple's daughter about their long recovery ahead. Keenan. Well, Deborah, Melissa Joyner's family says that her parents lived right next door to this house where the attack actually happened. They believe that the owner needed to do more to secure that pit bull, and that owner has been cited by the Rocky Mount Police Department. However, that woman today tells me she doesn't believe there's anything else she could do to stop this attack. A moment of peace together. Nurses wheeled Bobby Joyner into his wife Annie's hospital room just before she was taken into surgery. Rocky Mount police say the couple was attacked yesterday by their neighbor's pit bull. I'm like kind of still in shock a little bit. <laughs> and I know my sister is too, but you know, we're just going to be here with our parents and as long as they need us. The couple's daughter says Annie Joyner went next door on Nelson Street to visit her neighbor, Julie Proctor. Proctor's grandson's pit bull was at the home. As Joyner went to leave, the dog attacked her. My dad, he heard my mom um, screaming from his house, which is right next door, and he rushed over to try to help my mom. Police say the dog attacked Bobby Joyner as well. When an officer arrived, the dog bit them on the leg too, leading them to shoot it twice, ending the incident. Melissa Joyner says her father is recovering well, but her mother's foot had to be amputated. She says the dog wasn't leashed, and they'd been concerned about its behavior in the past. I mean, I have dogs too, and we love dogs. So, you know, in our eyes, it's really not the dog's fault. It, I mean, the owner needed to be more responsible. Julie Proctor was cited for failing to restrain the pit bull. Today, she tells us the dog was on a harness and tether when the attack began. He backed out of the harness somehow. I guess the adrenaline in him. That's why they think he was not on his harness, but he was. She says she did everything she could to stop the attack and doesn't feel she's to blame. I beat him on the head with everything I could find and could not get him off of her. Yeah, I've been reliving it all night long. A neighbor who took this video says he previously had to help another person who was attacked by the dog in the street. We're reaching out to Rocky Mount Police for any report on that incident. Yeah, y'all can, y'all can. And Proctor tells us that Rocky Mount Animal Control took the dog after it was shot twice. That dog was euthanized yesterday, and she says that her family is really struggling with this and trying to put this incident behind them at this point. Now, the Joyner family says they are facing a slew of medical bills in the wake of the injuries to both of their parents. They're asking for the community's help in supporting their efforts to recover with a GoFundMe. You can find the link to that page on our website alongside this story. It's on WRAL.com. Deborah. Keenan Willard reporting live in Rocky Mount. Keenan, thanks.